Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're making a very easy recipe for cozy roast chicken with lemon and garlic. Let's get to the stove and get started. Okay, so we're going to be making a lovely cozy roast chicken and it is so easy to do. Most of the cooking is completely hands off. So the first thing we're going to do is you need a roasting pan. I use my cast iron Dutch oven, but you can have a any kind of roasting pan that you normally do chicken in. Now, sometimes you'll find roasting pans have the little dimples, or you may have a rack for it. That's great. If you don't, and let's say that you really don't enjoy mushrooms or onions, so you don't want to have that part of our recipe. That's fine. We don't want the chicken sitting flat on the bottom of the pan though. So here's a great trick if you don't have a rack. You take two forks, you place them opposite to each other, and just place them in the bottom of the pan. And what you're going to do is rest the chicken on that. And that will keep the bottom of the chicken from hitting the bottom of the pan. Now for us, we're using onions today. We're not using mushrooms like the recipe has, and that's just because I want to show you an alternative. You don't have to use the mushrooms. So step number one in prepping your chicken, do not wash your chicken. There's an old way of doing it that said you had to always wash your chicken before you use it. The only problem with that is that in the washing process, you can splash water all over your sink and your countertop and that's really not good because it's got raw chicken juices and it can make you very sick. And quite frankly, there's really no need to wash the chicken. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and snip off the, the, the butcher string because we're going to want to get into the center of, into the cavity of this chicken. So we're just going to unwrap the string and make sure that you have your um, disinfectant spray. Remember, we talked about this in a previous video, and it's just a mixture of bleach and water. That's all it is. And if you have that on hand, then that will come in handy to get rid of all the chicken on your hands and whatnot, and off your utensils. So, we've got our chicken ready, and we're going to add our onions, and if you wanted to add mushrooms or perhaps baby carrots, that's great, go for it. We're adding a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and we're adding some water. Now, it really depends on the size of your roasting pan, but you want to have it about an inch and a half deep, because we're not going to stew the chicken, and in this case, I'm using I want to say about two cups. It's up about an inch up the sides and that will be fine. And make sure that your onions, if you're using onions, that they're broken up so that they create this lovely little bed for your chicken to rest on. Same with your mushrooms. If you use mushrooms, slice up your mushrooms and then just scatter them. Okay, so on to the chicken. One of the things that makes this chicken so good is that we're going to flavor it from the inside. So what we want to do is we want to take our sliced and chopped up garlic. I didn't mince it because I want to have a little bit more bite to it. And we're going to stick this right into the cavity of the chicken. Put that there. And let's just drop all this lovely garlic into the cavity of the chicken. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take half of a lemon, cut in half, so we'll have two quarters, and we're just going to push that right into the cavity of this chicken. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take my chicken and put it into the roasting pan breast side down. And the reason I do that is to make sure that the breasts of the chicken stay nice and moist. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of oil onto the top of the chicken. 
and we're just going to give it a quick little rub just to make sure that it's covered everywhere. There we go. And then we're going to sprinkle this with poultry seasoning. Now you can buy your poultry seasoning already made or you can uh, make your own mix. We have a recipe on the website for your own poultry seasoning. And I usually use about a tablespoon and I have a little bit in reserve and that's going to help flavor our gravy if you want to make gravy afterwards. So you set that aside. I'm going to give my hands a quick wash with my spray. And because I don't want to touch my salt and pepper shaker with chicken on my fingers. Okay. So now all we're going to do is we're going to give a couple of really nice grates of salt. If you don't have a grater, I'm using about a quarter of a teaspoon of each. And this depends as well on whether your seasoning has salt in it as well. Okay, so we're all set for our chicken. The only thing that's left to do is make sure it's covered. So your roasting pan needs to have a cover. If you don't have a cover, use aluminum foil. But we want it covered into the oven, 375, for about 50 minutes. So there's our chicken in all its glory. All done. It took about 60 minutes for this particular chicken. Your mileage may vary depending on the size of the chicken and how cold it is to start with. So what we're going to do is I always make a gravy to go with my chicken. And so we're going to transfer this chicken out of the pot and make our gravy. And if you've got mushrooms or the onions or let's say you put carrots in there, you're just going to transfer them to another bowl. So what I like to do is I leave the lemon and everything in there. We just transfer it to another dish and then we'll set that aside. And we're just going to put this back here and that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get all of these lovely onions out of the, bowl, out of the pot and just transfer them to another dish. Because it's kind of hard to make the gravy when you've got all these big onion pieces. In that way too, if you've got some people who don't like onions, then they don't have to have any. There we go. But you'll notice nothing stuck to the bottom because the onions were a nice little bed for the chicken to sit on. Now if you like at this point, you can drain off some of the fat, just skim it off with a spoon. Um, but if you notice that there's not a lot of fat and, and, and you don't want to drain it off, then that's, that's fine too. Just start your gravy from this point. Now, we set this aside. There we go. In order to make your gravy, you're going to want to put your element on high. And we're going to, although the, the juices here are flavorful, we're still going to add a little bit more flavor. So we're going to add some salt and pepper. Just a couple of, maybe um, an eighth of a teaspoon, a pinch of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And again, if you don't like pepper, you don't need to use pepper. We have a little bit of our leftover poultry seasoning. About a teaspoon I'm going to dump in. And we're also going to use about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. And what this does is add some nice color and a little bit of extra tang to the gravy. So we're going to give this a bit of a stir. We're going to let it come to a boil. My pan gets hot so I'll put my glove on. 
to give it a bit of a stir and you can already see it's a nice brown color and that's from the balsamic. If you wanted to add a little bit of a different flavor profile you can always add um, a little bit of soy sauce something like that. Now in order to thicken the gravy we're going to want to make ourselves a little cornstarch slurry. We have this on the website and I don't use flour. I mean, feel free to use flour. If you're going to use flour, use the same technique. You're going to, for the cornstarch slurry, we add a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water. That's all you need. And I always start with just this much. If I need more, I can add more. This usually does it. So you stir this up really, really well and make sure that your gravy's boiling. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drizzle this in. And I might not even need all of it. Look at that, it's already thickened up. And if you want it a little bit thicker, go ahead and add a little bit more of your slurry. If you end up making it too thick, Add a little bit of water. It's not a problem. But that extra poultry seasoning and the salt and pepper just boosts up the flavor of the gravy. What's, once that's done, your gravy is done. It's just that quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your gravy. You can let it sit and cool a little bit. And if you do, great. Give it another stir before you transfer it into your container, your gravy container. There we go. I'm just going to pour this, oops, pour this into the gravy container. There we go. Take that off the heat. And give this a quick wipe. There we go. And there's your gravy. So now we've got our lovely roast chicken and our gravy to go. That's all there is to it. Okay, so that's all there is to roast chicken. We kept the flavors fairly simple, poultry seasoning, garlic, and lemon, and we made sure that we turned the chicken over so that we kept the, the breast nice and moist. Um, we opted to make a gravy. You don't need to if you don't want to, but it's always nice to have a nice rich gravy, and the balsamic vinegar helps that richness. Okay, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Come visit us at cookerynation.com and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.